I think if we're going to reach goal five, we need to do a number of things. We need to focus on comprehensive sexuality education with a gendered lens. We need to make sure that young people have both information and skills. They need the skills to negotiate, to communicate, and to seek services. And we need to look at the evidence around what works to do really good sexuality education. We need to assure that we have very good family planning and contraceptive services. And I say both of those because we want to make sure we have family planning for married women and we also have contraceptive services for young people who are sexually active and want to protect themselves but might not want to plan a family yet. We need to make sure that we have access to comprehensive abortion care. And we want all of those three areas to be safe, to be legal, and to make sure that governments and civic leaders stand shoulder to shoulder and speak out on behalf of sexual and reproductive health and rights. We have a lot of evidence about what works, and we have some evidence about what doesn't work. And we need to make sure that we take that evidence into consideration when we implement programming and when we pass laws and policies around sexual and reproductive health and rights. At the Packard Foundation, we're focused on two areas that we think are significant. One of those areas is quality. We care about quality when we have abortion. When we think about abortion, we want to make sure that people have access to medical abortion and surgical abortion, that there's no provider bias, and that it's stigma-free. We care about stigma with family planning and contraceptive contraceptive services as well. We want to make sure that women and young people have a lot of choices, that they have good counseling, that there's no provider bias, that the supplies are there, that when they go to a clinic, if they say, I want pills, or I want an IUD, or I want an injectable, that they actually have access to those supplies and they can get that method right away and don't have to come back. So high quality really matters. High quality matters for sex ed. It matters that the person who's educating a young person really cares about them and wants to put them at the center of the conversation. So quality is critical to us. And with quality, we also care about young people. We care about them as recipients of services. We want to know what really makes a difference for them. What's a quality service for a young person? And then we care about young people as activists, as movement builders. We believe that that's where our future is. And people give a lot of lip service to young people as our future. But we actually think that putting young people front and center in advocacy on behalf of sexual and reproductive health and rights will make the difference and will be game changing in meeting the, the SDGs. Cool. So it's going to take everybody working together in order to meet the SDGs. But in particular, I think what we all have to do, that's governments, that's civil society, that's service providers, is really include young people at the beginning. One of the things that we've recently learned from FP 2020 is that there is a 25% higher discontinuation rate amongst young people. And so we know that they're getting their first service, but then they're not continuing and they're not coming back and saying, wait, this isn't working for me. What could work better for me? So we've got to do a better job as a community. And I think it takes putting young people front and center as we plan programs, as we plan policy, looking at what we know works, looking at what we know doesn't work, and then starting to forge ahead. So this conference on family planning is building huge momentum around the globe. Governments are involved, policymakers are involved, civil society, and young people. And there's a new organization of of youth engaged with family planning that's reaching across 40 countries and has three or 4,000 young people already engaged and signed up. And we hope that momentum will just keep growing and growing. We want all the young people to be bold, take risks, um, find some mentors and talk to them and keep asking questions and keep being curious. And I'm excited to work with you.